Hello and welcome to my first ever screencast. Today the program that I'm going to teach you how to use is Duolingo. Duolingo is a program that helps you learn a new language. All you need to do is search duolingo.com and it'll pop up. I am currently using it to learn French but I'm going to show you how to use it um, with the Spanish program. There are a variety of languages that you can learn using Duolingo. Not just Spanish and French, they also have German, Italian, Turkish, the list goes on. You can learn whatever you want. Back to the Spanish program though. The way that Duolingo is organized is it shows you exactly what vocabulary you're learning. Here I am on the lesson phrases, so this will just teach me three short lessons about phrases, how to say certain things. As you keep scrolling and going through the program, the vocabulary does get more and more difficult. You can learn household adjectives, objects, keeps going. This program ends with the conditional perfect, which is used when you are speaking in the hypothetical, which in Spanish is something very difficult to do. Something great to note about Duolingo is that it tells you how long you've been using the program. The greatest thing is it lets you know when you're on fire, which is here, which is how many days straight you've been on. If you've been using it for five days straight, it will reward you more than if you have only used it for two days straight. The more you use it, the more rewards you get. So what we are going to do is actually go into the next lesson. We can see that I'm done with the basics because all of the bars are filled up to the top. So down to phrases. I have completed lesson one as there is a green check mark. I can redo it if I feel like I need to. But I'm going to go on to lesson number two. What it does tell me are the focus words that I'm going to be seeing throughout this lesson. Si, no, favor, nada, siento, perdón. Those are going to be the focus of this lesson. Lo siento. Now it says it to me. I can click Lo siento. if I need it to be repeated. And I can click Lo. on the actual word to see what it means. Lo siento. siento. Now I know that together this means I am sorry. So I will go into the type in English box and I will type in I am sorry. I can then check my work and it will let me know that yes I am correct. Up here you will note that there are three hearts. Each time that you get something incorrect a heart will disappear and once you are out of hearts you are done with the lesson and you will have to redo it to be able to pass. Here there are green bars. Each time you get a question right a green bar will fill. This will continue to happen until you are at the end and have completed the lesson um, well and correctly and then you may move on. When you are finished with the hearts that means that you have failed the lesson. I can click continue. No, gracias. Again it says it out loud. I can click on the blue microphone if I need it if I need it to be said again. No, gracias. Then I can click on the words. No. And tells gracias. me exactly what they mean. So I can type in English no Thank you. And again, I will check my work. It lets me know that I'm correct. The greatest thing about this program is that it is also an app on your phone that you can download and practice anywhere you want, on the go, when you're sitting, waiting in a waiting room or something. Uh, that's where I use it all the time. I can continue. Ella no es una niña and I will have to listen so it does also work on your listening skills and if I need it to be said again I can click on the blue microphone Ella no es una niña. if I need it to be said in a slower at a slower pace I can click on the turtle Ella no es una niña. so now I've heard it and I will type in Ella no es una niña if I want to check it again, Ella no es una niña. now I can click on check. 
lets me know that I am correct and it will give me the translation. She is not a girl. Since it did not tell you exactly what it meant at the beginning, it'll tell you at the end. This was working on your listening skills. I hope that you have had a great time learning Duolingo. It will teach you speaking, reading, writing, and listening. You will work on all those exercises. Remember that you can do it on your phone. Thank you for listening.